In Unity, by default, a new rigid body component has gravity set to 1, which makes it fall downwards. If you switch it to minus 1, it falls upwards. I will set my rigid body's values to 0 except for the mass and duplicate this game object. Now we have two bodies with the same mass in two positions. Let's use Newton's theory of gravity to have one of them attract the other. First, I get the mass product by multiplying both masses. To get the distance between points, I subtract the second value from the first one. This gives us a vector from point B to point A, where point B is now at 0, 0, 0. From this vector, we can calculate the distance between them using Pythagoras' theorem, or by using Vector 3's magnitude method. Now, if we divide the mass product over distance squared, we have our force. We then scale it by multiplying it with our constant, which I have set to 1, so really, you could say it's out of the equation. We now know how strong the attractor's gravity force will be on the target. We just need to apply it in the direction of the attractor. To do this, we can take our previously calculated difference and normalize this vector. A normalized vector will always return 1 if the Pythagoras theorem is applied to it. To put it another way, a collection of all possible normalized vectors will draw a circle circumference of radius 1. Now that we have our force magnitude and our force direction, we can get the force as a vector by multiplying them and finally apply this force to our target. If you want a realistic simulation, you would have to apply the same force both ways. They would just affect each other differently depending on their mass, which is why the Earth's gravity on the Sun is seemingly insignificant. I wanted to have more control over which objects attract others and which objects are attracted by these attractors, so I made a gravity handler script which has a list of rigid bodies of attractors and attractees. I made a graviton script with two boolean values that represent whether it is an attractor or an attractee, or both. I added this script to all the objects I would possibly want inside the gravity simulation. When the script is enabled or disabled, I have it add or remove the object's rigid body to the gravity handler's relevant list. I added a vector3 variable to represent an initial velocity to apply on enable, which could also be random or zero. To throw an object around, I add my throwable script from my aim and throw video, which I modified to stop the gravity simulation while aiming. I also managed to modify my path visualizer script to work in this new environment. I hope that you enjoy this video. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you subscribe. I hope that you can have a good time regardless if you subscribe.